There's a dozen or more salts on the market for use with marine aquaria and saltwater reef tanks. So which one is the right one for you? Let's talk about it. So the purpose of this video is not to tell you what the best salt is for your aquarium, but it's to give you the information that you need so that you can make an educated decision on which salt you want to run in your aquarium. And the thing that's going to determine what salt you're going to use is how you're going to be setting your tank up. If it's a fish only aquarium, you can go down one path, or if it's a mixed reef aquarium or a coral specific aquarium, you're going to have to go down another path. It's important for you to know that pretty much all marine salts are basically the same thing. Now, some have added fillers and anti-clumping agents and things like that. Different companies mix in different amounts of trace elements into the salts. So you might get some instant ocean reef crystals, for example, and mix that up and the calcium is at 440. And then you might go with a Coral Pro Blue Bucket salt and the calcium is at 480. Really, this is the crux of the entire argument. You need to be able to know what your tank is going to require in order to choose a good salt. But I've been using Instant Ocean Reef Crystals, the orange bucket, for about the last 22 years, and the stuff just plain old works. Now, the Instant Ocean Purple Bag, for example, doesn't have enough calcium, magnesium, and alkalinity within that salt to put your aquarium at a level that you would keep for a mixed reef tank. It's those levels are going to be lower in that salt because that salt is more geared towards a fish only style of aquarium. Now you can get some very expensive salts that are incredibly pure and every single time they will mix perfectly to every parameter that you need them to mix to. But like I said, they're ridiculously expensive and they're kind of hard to find as well which is the reason that I choose Instant Ocean Reef Crystals. Pretty much every store in at least the United States that carries saltwater aquarium stuff is going to carry Instant Ocean Reef Crystal salt. Most of your coral farms and a lot of your online marine vendors and stuff like LiveAquaria.com, they use Instant Ocean Reef Crystals. And the reason is because the stuff just works. When you mix the salt up, the parameters come back at a very acceptable level that falls right in the middle of the ranges where you need, you know, your aquarium to be. Now, if you need to bump some things up here or there later on down the road as you become a more advanced aquarist, you can do that through dosing and other means, and you may decide to choose a different salt then. But for the cost and the ease of use and the availability on the market, you really can't beat the Instant Ocean Orange Bag. Oh, and by the way, pro tip, when you get your salt and you get it set up, ready to mix and everything, you're going to want to shake the absolute crap out of that salt box or bag or bucket or whatever you have. Shake it up super good because it can stabilize in there into layers and all your trace elements and stuff can fall to the bottom. So when you mix your salt the top, from the top layer or whatever, it might be low on parameters. So make sure that you shake that thing up, get it turned around, and then mix your salt and you'll have a much better result. And hey, if you're new here, I'm Logan from Reef Rookies and I help demystify saltwater aquaria. And if you're wondering when you can get your cleanup crew started in your tank, check out this video right over here and it's going to answer that question for you. And there's another video right below that one that's gonna answer even another question for you that you might not even know that you need to be asking. I'll see you over there.